All right, here's an update um, for, you know, my YouTube channel. People who haven't been around for a while. I haven't really taken any videos in over a year. Um, since then, my uh, soup duty I had to end up getting totaled last winter. I got hit by a uh, by a uh, deuce and a half, so really fucked it up. So I ended up selling that and all that good stuff. Got what I could from insurance. Since then, I've got... I, got, I picked up for a pretty good price. I got this 97 73 crew cab on that is to see automatic. It's all basically stock, you know, it's got the basic downpipe, air intake, and six position chip, you know, TS6. Um, it's got 360,000 miles. She's a fucking runner, though. She still runs like a champ. Um, Mickey Thompson classic wheels. It had 37s on it when I got it, now it has 35s. Um, four ton gears, all that good stuff. Uh, RS, um, Sky RS, RSK three inch up in the front. Um, see, you saw it up there. Factory, I um, mean, the swivels move back there. You see what this truck It's the opposite because it's all stock. Um, pretty clean interior. A lot, definitely a fuck little cleaner truck than the other one I had. Um, This one actually likes to start up in the cold, so. See, six pieces of chips over here on this. You got, you know, high, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, it's all stock. Both tanks actually work. When I first got it, it came with a brand new rear tank. Just a uh, factory rear tank was leaking, so I put that in. Um, yeah, she'll get about, highway, highway, she'll get about, she'll go about 500 miles on both tanks, so that's pretty decent mileage. Definitely gets a lot better fuel mileage than my old one. Um, but yeah, this is my daily driver for now. Five inch side dump, uh, you know, I like my side dump pipes. Um, but yeah, it's got visor, a couple of little things, it's not really major. Now let me pop that here for y'all real quick. Clear factory replacement headlights. <sighs> See here. Um, yeah, all stock, nothing special. Yeah, this is my 97. Um, the other one's 97. This is actually my project truck. Um, it's still in the works. It's got an intercooler, all that good stuff. I still gotta just cut the holes. Right here to mount it. Um, I have to get a new radiator support for it when I pull out the engine. Um, it's got a Super Duty turbo conversion uh, billet, tur uh, Wookie Wheel 2 on it. Um, so, with all that, you know, it's got the bigger Super Duty intake plenums. Um, it's also got a Super Duty high pressure oil pump. Uh, Mark Fizgato's regulated return. The fuel pumps down the frame rail. Uh, Super Duty. UVCH is the only reason why I did that is because the factory ones had the famous, you know, where the glow plugs are. The glow plug pins, they're all melted to shit. Um, it's got the international water pump. Fucking leave. With the cooling filter right here. Um, you see, I still gotta get intake for it. I still gotta make up the downpipe for it. Um, yeah, it's got Swamp 175 injectors so 175 with the stock nozzles do you can see on the website they're 175 146 um the transmission everything is still in the garage i'm waiting for the clutch coming it is zf5 four by four dually Let's see if i'll start up here i got i'm still i still got to wire up the fuel pump so right now this is my wiring for the fuel pump See down there, that's the fuel pump. Fuel filter with, uh, with the factory, it ain't a factory uh, Super Duty fuel pump, but it's a factory style. Single mask flywheel, more so. Um, oil pan, it didn't need the oil pan, but since I had the engine out anyways, 
I did that. Um, also with the Super Duty conversion, I replaced. I put two new manifolds on it, all that good shit. Um, there we go. Press the clutch. Do this. This here's a hydro chip right now. It's on. Um, yeah, I don't put anything on it. I don't. That subs for my mud truck, which is not here right now. It's at my buddy's place. You can see what the uh, what the uh, what the uh, international water pump is plus the hose from down there. All that good stuff. Uh, the only reason why I don't have transmission is is because I'm still waiting for the clutch to come to come in. Um, shut this cop sucker back off. Uh, waiting for the clutch to come in. I got a uh, Valer uh, uh, some of this uh, ceramic clutch. So that way, because this year should be put pushing probably. They say with those injectors, you could normally get 375 horsepower. That's uh, if it gets that, that'll be sweet. If it doesn't, oh well. Hopefully, maybe I can get some more. But for right now, it's just going to basically remain like this. Future plans. When I have more money is to get just a uh, KC38R um, turbo with a billet wheel. This here has a billet wheel in it now, a wicked wheel too. Um, yeah. Um, a couple of interesting things that I did, I, I uh, line-X the uh, valve covers, actually made it, you can hardly even hear the injectors clicking. Um, let me turn this fucking fuel pump off. But yeah, here's my little project. The intercoolers inside, like I said, I still got to cut out there and there. Uh, I'm going to try to make the factory Super Duty pipes work. Um, but yeah, I got new doors for it because you see the factory doors are fucking shot. Um, that's stock exhaust. That's uh, exhaust I pull off of a 6.4. All I'm going to use off it is the tip. I think that look pretty cool. Then it's going to be, you know, 3 inch down pipe to 4 inch straight pipe, which is going to come out back here. Ain't going to be a side dump because I feel like a side dump would get the entire side dually bed all fucked. Um, it is going to get painted and all that good stuff. I got uh, smoke tail lights for it, all that good stuff for. Christmas and all that night stuff. Bed's a fucking mess right now. I already put on the small cab lights. But yeah, these are my little projects. Um, if anybody's interested, I do have the factory turbo off of this, which and the factory injectors off of this, which are perfectly fine working order. They're for sale. Just message me if you want them. Um, I will ship. But yeah, these are my two my two new rigs. I actually only picked this up for three grand. It ran perfectly fine, but I figured, you know what? Let's make it better. Get it's just like my dream truck here. You don't really see 24 by 4 dualies. And it was it's uh it it was a factory dually. Well, that was made for by four, not a dually conversion. So, um, yeah, I clean up the alcohol rims. I think I'm gonna go, I might put on 35s for now. I'm not sure. Um, eventually what I do want to do is get the, uh, 10 lug conversion and 22.5 alcoholis, but that's later on down the road when I have more money. Yeah, this shit ain't cheap. But yeah, I'm going to work on these two for quite a while now. This one here I haven't done much work to since I got it. I replaced the wheel bearing and... Replace both rear all these spring shackles and all the bushings all the way around and the uh, track bar bushing gives it had a little death wobble at first but Yeah, late 99 up turbo conversion Not the early 99 which has the uh, the uh, Smaller to speak turbo even though the, internally the turbos are the same size the housings are different sizes um, Bellowed up pipes all that good stuff. I still gotta get gauges for this 
You can see the bell of the pipes there. And then, yeah. But I'll keep you updated as this one comes along. Um, should be done here within a month or so. And this one here, the next winter, I'll pull out the engine. needs the oil pan done and everything, all that good stuff. So this one here will be next. All right.